This is real life firebending. We're also testing the world's strongest laser, melting through metal with my finger and making a giant flaming rocket. Starting with level one. We're gonna make a mini rocket at home. This is 99% rubbing alcohol. Just a little bit. You just wanna coat the sides. We drilled a hole in the middle of the bottle cap. This might break some things, but three, two, one. That's crazy. <laughs> and that was just level one. Later in the video, we're making a flaming rocket that's gonna fly 10 times higher, a giant smoke cannon, and so much more. I did not sign up for this. On to the next level. This next experiment is called the fire tornado. I need you to rip this sponge into small little pieces and put it in this container. Don't need this no more. Now, this is a can of butane, which is lighter fluid. Light it. We're adding a fencing to allow air to flow in a circular motion. And once we spin it, it creates a giant tornado effect. It's a nice little tornado effect. And if we put a balloon over it. Oh my God. <laughs> On to the next experiment. Next, we have two aluminum can experiments. For the first one, we just need some drain cleaner. Stuff you can buy at the hardware store. I'm gonna fill this up. Now, as my assistant, I need you to sand this Coke can. That's pretty good. Now we've sanded off all the labels. Ooh, we're gonna put this in. Instantly dissolving, that's crazy. Up next is aluminum can versus gallium. So the special thing about gallium is the fact that when it comes in contact with any aluminum surface, it will melt the aluminum. We can put the gallium on top. Why don't you spread it around? Safe to touch. We'll need some time for the melting process to happen, so we'll check back on both aluminum can experiments later in the video. This next experiment needs to be done in the car. We'll just start with some Elmer's glue. You're pouring glue in the car? Hafu, are you sure you're gonna be able to get that out? You gotta trust science. Pour this into the cup, oh. shake it up. Let's hope this works. What if it goes into the engine? Into the engine? <laughs> All right, we have our beautiful slime. Now, this should clean our car. Clean the cup holder. Clean up some dust here. Clean up some dust. Now, let's clean the steering wheel. Look at that, it's sucking everything up. That's so gross. Now we have a brand new car, completely clean with glue. This next experiment is a carbon sugar snake. This is our snake right here. It's just a mix of baking soda and sugar. What I need you to do is pour the rubbing alcohol. We wanna pour this very concentrated. Ready? One, two, three. Carbon sugar snake, come alive! <laughs> so the sugar and the baking soda is now reacting with the fire. As the mixture burns, the carbon dioxide gas is getting trapped inside, which is making the sugar come alive. What are you gonna name your monster, Hafu? Big Willy. <laughs> I'm sorry, my man. Cool thing about this, you can actually touch it after. It feels like a croissant. Yeah. You can like peel it open, spread it open. We basically made bread. All right, on to the next experiment. This next experiment only involves a simple egg. This is what happens when you drop an egg normally. It breaks, as expected. But when you put an egg and soak it in vinegar for two days, this is what happens. Our egg is now see-through. And what happened here is the acid in the vinegar has actually broken down the hard parts of the eggshell, which became these bubbles. This is a before and this is a after. Now, what's left intact is a membrane inside, so the egg is actually bouncy. Look at this. That's so cool. Let's make a bet. Loser has to eat this. <laughs> Make a bet on how high you think this egg can bounce without breaking. I'm gonna say here. You're gonna say higher than me? Okay, then I'm gonna say here. Okay, ready? Wait, we'll go here first. You're eating the egg. I'm closer. Oh, that's disgusting. That is actually disgusting. <laughs> You're eating the egg. Honestly, it just tastes like pickles. Pretty cool science experiment. Very easy to do. Next. This is a normal lighter, but we're gonna turn it into a magic lighter. All right. What does that mean? We need the lights off. So what I'm gonna need you to do is just blow. 
Harder, <laughs> slow harder. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, that was really cool. So when the flame blows out, there's actually leftover wax in the smoke. That's why when you add heat, it will relight on fire. This next experiment is called fire suction. So I'm gonna need your help later. Okay. First, we're just gonna light this candle. Pour a little bit of water around the, I said a little bit. <laughs> place this on top, place a glass over it, which is gonna create a suction once the fire dies out. And while we wait for the fire to die out, I'm gonna solve this Rubik's cube so we can test the strength of this suction. It's working. Yeah. Nice. Place a uh, Rubik's cube on top. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Last one. Hurry right up. All right. There we go. Four. What else can we place on top? Can we place this axe can on top? Can we place this goggle on top? Can we place? Oh, okay. <laughs> now we can weigh out everything on top, and that's a total of 1,161 grams. The power of this tiny little candle. Next experiment. This next experiment is called water suction. Should I be concerned? Just a little. You're gonna put some food coloring in this water, just so okay. it's visible. Swirl it around. And now, we're gonna make me 10 times more attractive. This is Axe Body Spray. Every high school man's dream. Spray me. Mm. How does it smell? No. <laughs> On the can of Axe Body Spray, it has a fire emoji. Whoa. That's kind of cool. like a flamethrower. But that's not our trick. Our trick is we're gonna use this inside of the bottle, just a little bit. All this water will instantly go into the bottle once I light this. Whoa! And that's water suction. Is fire suction cooler or water suction? Water suction. When we're sucking, it needs to be a little wet for it to be fun, right? Yeah, especially when it's red. <laughs> Next experiment. <laughs> so now we're gonna make a dry ice bubble maker, all right? When we put dry ice in water, it starts a reaction. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. We're gonna now screw on the cast and then stick the tube in, not too far though, just a little bit. And we'll just tape it. Look at that, dry ice bubble! Woo! It bounces. We're dipping the tube into a dish soap solution. The dry ice smoke gets trapped in the dish soap, which starts to form a bubble. And our goal is to make the biggest bubble we can. That's the process. Look how big this is. Look how big this is. Oh! Ah. Next, we have a chemistry experiment. I'm gonna show you how to make elephant toothpaste with just grocery store ingredients. All you need is some yeast, hydrogen peroxide, which is for wounds, an empty bottle, dish soap, and food coloring of your choice. So first, we just pour the hydrogen peroxide in here. Talking about chemistry, coffee season is actually coming up. So if you're still single, now is the time to form a bond. No more crying yourself to sleep at night or binging shows alone. Our sponsor, Coffee Meets Bagel, is here to help. Let's add a little bit of dish soap. And I'm gonna add a dash of red food coloring to signify love. So Coffee Meets Bagel is the last dating app you'll ever need. It's made for those only looking for serious relationships. If you download the app and you say you're looking for something casual, they'll actually redirect you to competitor dating apps. I'm a very career focused person and I'm sure a lot of you are just like me. So swiping through profiles might seem like a waste of time for you. That's why I love Coffee Meets Bagel's matching feature. Instead of endlessly swiping, you get suggested new matches based on your dating preferences. For example, you can say you like girls who work out and don't party. Also, they have an icebreaker feature, which makes it a little less awkward for you to slide in. No more hey double Y. Now let's continue. We have our yeast. Let's add it to some warm water. The yeast would be the catalyst that will start this chemical reaction. One of my friends from university actually found his girlfriend using Coffee Meets Bagel. And from talking to all my friends that use the app, they vouch that the people on Coffee Meets Bagel are a lot more wholesome than the other apps. Now this is the last step to our experiment. We add the catalyst into the solution that we made. If you're single and looking for a serious relationship, download Coffee Meets Bagel for free using the link in the description and get ready to start a chemical reaction of love.
Hopefully you don't explode this fast on your first date. All right, it's been over an hour. Let's check back on our aluminum can experiments. Got the drain cleaner one right here. Let's pull this one first. Oh, God. look at that, wow. it's smoking. So the drain cleaner has melted away all the aluminum and the only thing that's left is a plastic wrap inside. It's a sponging can, that's so cool. This is a gallium can. We left it there for a couple hours. I noticed some interesting textures. Let's see what happened. So as you can see, this can has become destroyed. Let's just give it a little squish test. Wow. Let's try poking through with our fingers. Oh, oh my God. We can basically crumple this can. It's like an aluminum croissant. Next, we have two <laughs> tiny air guns. So how this works is literally just a cup and a balloon attached to the back end. Do you feel that? Yeah. To see if it actually is working, let's light it on fire. Why does every experiment involve fire here? Because fire is cool. Try blowing this up. There Ooh. we go. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Now, let's step it up a little bit. That's huge. What are we blowing with that? Your mom. So what we can do is actually we can just burn a little paper and it will become a smoke cannon. You can just put the paper inside. Our smoke cannon is now loaded with smoke. We can aim and fire it. So we got bottles set up over there. Here's the challenge. Whoever knocks down the most number of bottles wins. And the loser has to drink lemon juice. Okay. We get three shots each, okay? Okay, I'll go first. Oh, you see that? Need to aim it a little lower. Okay. Oh, two down. Uh, let's see if you can okay. beat that. There we go. Oh! Oh my gosh, come on. We got one last shot. Oh my goodness. Shoot me, shoot me. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Loser has to drink lemonade. This is lemon juice, it's not lemonade. <laughs> that is so sour. <laughs> Holy crap. So this is the world's most powerful laser pointer. We need a different type of eye protection for this one. We need sunglasses. Mine are actually red because it cancels out the blue light from the laser. Let's test it on a balloon. Ah. Ah! <laughs> How many balloons do you think this laser will burn through? Three. I think it will burn through all these balloons. So I've even set up a match at the end to see if I can light that on fire. Okay, ready? Yeah, let's see it. Oh, that was fast. Three, oh. four, oh, it kept going. five, oh my God. six, seven. Let me go a little closer. Oh, oh. This laser is cool. <laughs> and it was only like 70 bucks. Only? This next experiment only requires hand sanitizer. I'm sure you have some left over, but don't try this at home. Extremely dangerous. It's called fire hand. And in order for you to see this, we need to turn the lights off. All right, that's better. First, we're gonna squeeze the hand sani onto our surface here. Spread it around. And then, wet our hands so we don't burn ourselves. And then, last step, a little bit more of hand sanitizer on our hand. Let's watch the magic happen. On to the next experiment. All right, now it's time for the final experiment. We're gonna use everything we've learned and combine it into a butane rocket. What does that even mean? A butane rocket. So butane, when it's combined with coke, it will react at such a fast pace that it becomes rocket fuel. As my assistant, I need you to hold this. Yep. Wait, let me think about this. I don't wanna blow you up. Ah. <laughs> um, so what I'm doing is I'm just letting the butane out into the coke bottle. We now have butane in this container. It is kind of smoking outside, as you can see. Can you see that? We're gonna see how this goes. One, two, three. Okay, we didn't have enough butane in there. Okay, so what we're gonna do instead, we're first gonna fill up this Coke bottle with only butane, and then we're gonna pour it into this Coke bottle. On top, we got a butane layer, and then on the bottom, we got a Coke layer. Once I flip this over, that's when the reaction will start. Butane rocket, one, two, three. Ah! 
Wow! <laughs> now we gotta do a bigger version of that. That was And on crazy. fire. On fire? We only have one shot for this. We use three cans of butane, and this is a big Coke bottle. And guys, again, do not try this at home. Now the butane is going inside the Coke bottle. I need you to step back. You're gonna light this on fire. You ready? <gasps> oh my God. This is flaming butane rocket. On three, two, one. How do you feel? That was scary. The science rocks! Guys, let's keep this going. If you want to watch $1 versus $100,000 yo-yo, click here to watch that video, and click here to watch a video that YouTube thinks you'll love.